This is a Seton BH-74 uh, mulching head. It is used on high flow hydraulic skid loaders for land clearing. It uh, is capable of mulching uh, pretty good sized trees. Four to six inch trees, it, it pretty much it takes that out fairly quickly. Uh, eight inch tree, uh, it does a fairly quick job on an eight inch tree. Anything larger than that, uh, it might be somewhat more time consuming. This particular one is set up with double carbide teeth. So you see the, the two uh, tips on it. It gives you a, a pretty good balance between speed, uh, performance, and durability for long life of, of tooth wear. Rocks, uh, hidden steel, things like that that are in the ground uh, can cause damage to these teeth and uh, you'll have to replace them. You may have one tooth break, but the other one will continue to, to do the job. Um, Overall, uh, good performance out of the style T. This uh, rack up on the top here is a push plate or push bar. It is used to control the tree. As you're grinding it down here, you can have it captured in between here so it doesn't fall one way or another. If you're trying to keep it from falling onto some sensitive areas, uh, you can steer it as it, the tree weakens. You can turn it one way or the other or control it from falling back on you by pushing it away from you. This particular uh, push bar is, is an adjustable one. It has multiple locations to adjust it so it leans further forward or further back. Um, depending on the size of the terrain you're in, you may want it leaned back so you can get closer to things without the uh, back uh, steering mechanisms here. Uh, scarring other trees that are close by. The object of this for taking down bigger trees is you have to have it higher in the air and grind into the side of the tree and then uh, uh, steer the tree down and work the, the rest of it to the ground. Uh, you're better off not having it too high. You don't want the debris to be flying back at the operator. Also, when operating this, you definitely do not want to have people close by you. You want to have them away at a distance of 300 feet or so. Um, the debris that flies out of this is, it comes out at pretty good velocity and does travel pretty far, so you, you don't want to have anybody near you. Some of these are available with optional doors for uh, highly populated areas, say in parks or something where there'd be people uh, that would work off this hinge point and, and come down and kind of control the, the flying debris so it doesn't go so far. Um, not very popular. It, uh, the, the door does not survive very well in you know, unexperienced operators and the visibility is cut down when the door is open. You can't really see where you're uh, actually grinding to. Most of this is used like if you're grinding a tree at a higher height, you would cut into the tree and drag down and go down with it and work your way into the tree. Or if you're going into your uh, terrain, you would probably pull ahead a few feet, drop the mulching head and back up and keep doing that and moving forward and backing up and mulch the material into the ground and uh, prevent uh, too much track damage from running over everything, just pushing forward. It will also do a better job of grinding up the material. This machine does require high flow hydraulics in order to operate it. We have this one set up on a Kubota SBL 95. There is areas uh, that the debris flies into and uh, you'll have to clean that out daily. On this particular machine, it's toward the rear of the machine, around your radiators, around your cylinders and such where, where debris will start falling down around the engine. And uh, you don't want that debris to build up. It could cause a, a fire uh, being around the muffler and such.